Hey Ron, it's Oli. Some of you are probably already excited looking at the title of this video because today we are going to be learning some uh, LWJGL, the lightweight Java game library. Uh, we're not, we won't be doing actual stuff with it yet. I'm just going to show you how to fully install it. Uh, but first, let me start off by apologizing for not making a video in so long. Uh, the reason is that I actually have exams coming up and they are taking priority over making tutorials so you will see me back but you'll only see me back fully sort of in about two or three months time so aside from that uh, I know I've also got the general Java game development series and the intermediate series which I've just kind of left there at a standstill and I will be picking those up again but not quite yet. The reason I'm doing this uh, lightweight Java game library tutorial is because I just want to give you guys something to do. Um, and this is quite simple to learn, so uh, I will be carrying on those series, but in a couple of months' time, not right now. So anyway, if we want to begin, basically, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to use, how to set it up with NetBeans and Eclipse. If you're using anything else, you can go to the lightweightjavagamelibrary.org and if you click documentation, um, it says getting started and it tells you how to set it up with Eclipse, NetBeans, IntelliJ, JCreator and Marvin or Maven. Um, so let's begin. If you go to lwjgl.org, you can see the link there at the top. Oh, let me delete that. There we go. And then down the side here, if you click on download, and then the latest stable release. It may not be 2.83 for you, depending on what time you're watching this. So just click on the link below it to get the late to get link to the latest release. You should be taken to sourceforge.net, and I'm showing you how to fully install this. So we're going to be getting, we're going to be downloading all of these things here. So click on this and wait for it to download start in five seconds and then I'm just gonna save it to the desktop and then hit back and then download the wait was that alright so that was LWJGL then the applet the docs and the source and then basically just download all four of these things to your desktop or somewhere easy to remember and then once you've done that, uh, pause the video now, once you've done that, unpause it. Uh, I'm going to pause this while all of this downloads. Hmm. Alright, so as you can see, I've got um, Lightweight Java Game Library 2.8.3, uh, the, the source, the docs, and the applet. So with these on your desktop, uh, what we want to do is, if you right-click and hit Extract here, or that might not be available depending on what extractor you're using. Uh, but I'm using WinRAR. And basically, this might take a while. So what you have to do is extract this one, the source, and the applet. You don't need to extract the docs. So I'm going to pause it whilst I just extract everything. All right, so now that everything's extracted except for the docs, uh, if you open up like with Java Game Library 8.3, 2.8.3 or whatever thing you have. Um, make a new folder in this. If you go new um, folder and then SRC for source and then drag the stuff you extracted from source. So that's platform build, SRC and build and drag that into the source folder. And then also if you open lure jiggle applet and then drag the applet folder just into that. So now you can delete that folder because it's empty. Um, you can also delete the RAS because you don't need them anymore, except for the docs one. And you can drag the docs one into that folder as well. <coughs> so now that you have this folder here that contains basically all of the Lightweight Java Game Library, it's a good idea to put it somewhere meaningful, like not on your desktop. So I'm just going to cut this and then go into my Java folder, which is in my program files. And I had... 2.8.1 set up, but I'm just going to paste this here because this is a, a later version. 
2.8.3 like that. And then now that we have this nicely sitting here, we can set this up. So I'm first going to show you how to do it in NetBeans. Um, if I pause it, because... Uh, all right, so in NetBeans, um, you can hit New Project, and then hit Next on Java Application, and I'm going to call this LWJGL. And, oh no, I've already got something to call that. Call it Test. And then don't create the main class, or you can do, but don't call it that, because that's quite long. Just call it Main, and hit Finish. And then this is the important part. So what we need to do is we need to actually add library to NetBeans. So if we go up to Tools and then hit Libraries, um, we want to click New Library and then call it something meaningful. So LWJGL, um, what was it, 8.2.3, was that it? 8.2.3, yep. And then it doesn't allow spaces so do a little dash or something and then hit OK and now with this bit here you're in like a new uh, library hit add jar folder on the class path part and then navigate to where you say where you copied it to so mine's program files uh, java 8.9.1 2.8.3 and then in the jar folder, um, all of this stuff here, we can select all of it. And quick way to do that, just click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one, and just hit add jar folder. All right, so now these are all here. We're going to add the sources. So click the sources tab and do add jar folder. And then we want to go up. And then in the source folder here that we made, and then in the source folder again, click Java and generated like that. Uh, you can hold control control um, and then you can hit add jar folder and then finally on the java doc you can click add zip folder and then go up up and just click on that zip folder there the lightweight java game library docs and then don't hit cancel oh. hit add zip folder there we go so now that is all done um, Oh, wait, we need to add that applet as well, so in the class path again, <clears throat> um, hit add jar folder, and then in applet, go to advance, and select both of these, and then add jar folder, and go up on basic, and just add all of these. So once we've got all of that done, we can hit OK. And now, um, for NetBeans, this is quite an important part. The first thing we do is, in the Project Explorer, right-click on Libraries and do Add Library, and then scroll down until you find the one you made. So, Lightweight Java Game Library 8.2.3, Add Library. So, that's Add the Libraries now. You can test this quickly by going import com, no, org dot... When it scans it quickly... There we go, org.lwjgl, and then lwjgl exception, like that. And then the last thing, I mean, this shows that it's added the sources, and there's a couple more things we need to do. Um, we need to right-click on uh, our project, and then it's off the screen here, but at the very bottom it says properties, and then in the run bit, now I'm going to add this, I'm going to put this in the description because this is quite important. We have to add this. And this is basically a, um, if I delete that here, basically we have to write uh, djava.library, uh, dash djava.library.path, and then we need to state the path to the native um, DLL files for our system. So what we need to do is, uh, between speech marks like that, if you don't do speech marks, you're likely to get a class not found error later on. Uh, we need to go to where we, oops, we need to go to where we installed it. Um, 8.3, and then native, and then whatever operating system you have. I have Windows, and then all these DLL files here. Right-click on the top bar, go copy addresses text. If you don't have 
Windows 7 and you have XP, you can right click on any of these files, hit properties, and then that's the path right there. So copy that path there. And then once you've copied that path, come into here and between those quotation marks, hit paste. And then that's basically all you need to do. Again, I'll put that, I'll put this line of code here in the description so you guys can copy it. And bear in mind that you need to do this for every single time you make a new lightweight Java game library project. You need to right click on the libraries, hit add library, do uh, LWJGL and then right click again properties and then paste this line of code. So probably it's good to save it to like a notepad document somewhere. Um, you can hit OK now. Alright so um, one, two more tests now. First thing is hold control in NetBeans and then over this, if you click on this, it should take you to the source file of it. And this shows that we've set up the source file correctly because we can see the actual code like this. We can see the uh, documents. Uh, if you see something like a method here and then it says throw new uh, runtime exception and then it says like compiled code. I think there's an example here. Uh, yeah, if you open, if you navigate to the source and you see stuff like this, throw new runtime exception compiled code, uh, that means you haven't added the sources properly. So try again, watch this tutorial and try again. Or if you're still getting problems, go to the forums, the javahub.net slash forums, and then post the problem there. So finally, what we're going to do is just test that we have it set up properly. In our main method here, we're going to write display with um, capital D and then add import for uh, org.lwjgl.opengl.display and then click dot um, set display mode and then inside it say new display mode and then when you import this, be careful not to do java.org display mode, do the one below it. And then inside it, just give it any dimensions like 800, 600, and then write display dot create like that. And then you need to put this between try and catch, so surround block with try catch. And then finally, just write while while display dot is close requested, but is not close requested. So put the exclamation mark in front, and then just give it an empty body. And then hit run. And what we should get is a blank black window like this. And that basically shows that we have set everything up properly. Um, it's finding the libraries, it knows what we're doing. And then, um, oh well, it's not responding because my computer's been a bit slow. But yeah, this, this basically shows we've set it up properly. So close that. It shouldn't do that for you guys because my computer is just being slow. Um, actually, if it does do that for you, add display dot update, and then hit run again. Oh, okay, that was the problem. All right, so this is our um, lower jiggle window that we can now use. So now what I'm going to show you how to do is set it up in Eclipse. If you only use NetBeans, you can stop the video now because we're not going to be doing anything. Um, not going to be doing anything afterwards. Um, so basically, I'm going to copy this code here because we're going to use it later. And now minimize this. Open up NetBeans. No, Eclipse, sorry. Open up Eclipse. And then just fitting this to my screen. And then new project. Java project. Next. Lightweight Java game library. Next and finish so now in source right click source and do new class and then just call it main finish oh wait we need the main method first There we go, now everything's going to have errors because we haven't imported anything yet. So, 
um, if we go to right click on our project and do properties now I'm not too familiar with Eclipse so I apologize if I do something wrong uh, if we go down the side to uh, build path and then let's see libraries and then add external jars and then if we go back to Java LWJG AWJGL that's it um, then we go to jars oh no wait yeah jar and then LWJGL and all of this or no um, yeah just do all of it like that open and then we add them all like that and then under lwjgl.jar this one here if we expand it by clicking the little arrow what we need to do this is very important we need to right click on the native library thing or double click on it rather and then add the path the same thing we did last time so if I go to computer uh, C program files Java and then the native and then whatever platform system you have so I have Windows hit OK hit OK again and then the same thing if you want to attach the Java docs and source you double click on it and then browse and then find the I'm not going to do that uh, three different times so um, I think that's pr I think that's done for this I'm not sh you might have to I don't think you'll have to do it for all of them. I apologize again, I'm just not too familiar with NetBeans. Or no, Eclipse, sorry. Um, so, oops. All right, so it's found it. So display mode from org LWJGL, and then display over here from OpenGL, and then this from um, that. And then delete that line of code. System dot error dot print line error. And then that's pretty much it. If we hit run, it should work now. And there we go. We've got our window set up in uh, Eclipse. So I've showed you how to do it in Eclipse and NetBeans. Uh, these are the only two IDEs I have set up on my computer. So if you want any other help, you'll need to go to the website and then go to documentation. And then it tells you how to set it up with IntelliJ, JCreator, or Maven. And if you don't have any of these, you probably should get them because otherwise it's just going to make everything a bit tricky trying to set it up. So NetBeans is probably the easiest one. Eclipse is still pretty easy. I have no idea of the other ones, so you can go and check them out. Uh, next tutorial, I'm going to be basically walking you through these basic tutorials, so you can do them yourself if you want, or I can teach you to them, teach them to you. So uh, I hope you benefited from this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.